If we're being real, we need to get into some NBA championship talk. After game two, I was absolutely, nah, I was mad. Anyway, we need to get into some NBA championship talk. Game three is tonight, so let's get into it. What got you so mad? What do you mean what got me so mad? Do you watch the stinking game? I watched it. And nothing was upset. Nothing at all. Tell the people why you're mad. All right, well, first of all, in my opinion, the Nuggets lost game two. The Heat didn't win it. The Nuggets lost game two. They were playing pathetically all game. Jokic was the only one that showed up. The rest of the team was like, hey, we won game one pretty handily. Let's just uh, come out here, and we don't got to try that much. I mean, like, we won game one pretty handily. We just come out here and win game two easily. You know, it's not a big deal. No, the rest of the team played pathetic. Jokic was the only one to show up. Dude had freaking 40 points, and nobody else was there helping him out at all. I mean, I don't disagree with that, but it doesn't piss me off like you. Well, it's so stupid. Like, were they seriously thinking the Heat were just going to roll over? Like, what was their mindset coming into this game? Mindset was pathetic. They just came in acting like they were going to win with no issues. And the crowd, too. What the heck was with the crowd? It felt like a regular season game. The crowd wasn't into it. The players weren't into it. Like, what was going on? It was an absolutely pathetic performance by the rest of the players other than Jokic and by the fans themselves, too, because they weren't into it at all. We got to keep in mind for the Nuggets, I mean, they just came off sweeping the Lakers, dominating them, then come off a game one win. I'm sure their egos just got a little bit too big and they kind of forgot, hey, this is actually what we're doing. They've just been dominating. I mean, it was about time that they lost one so that they can get everything back in check and hopefully come back stronger now in game three. That's how I see it. Hopefully, but what, like, it's the NBA Finals. Did they really expect the Heat to just roll over? Did they really expect that their team was just so good that they didn't have to try and they could go out and win a game? No, it's the NBA Finals. The other team's going to be coming at you with everything they got. And yeah, your team is better, but that doesn't mean you could just come out here and lollygag around and get a win. It's the NBA Finals. It's not how it works. I mean, I still go back to the Lakers. They dominated LeBron. They dominated AD. When you're dominating two guys like that on the team, and then you move on to play the eight seed in the Finals, obviously their egos are going to be a little bit too big, and they're going to underestimate their ability. It was just going to happen. It was a matter of time. What have either happened after game one? What have either happened after game two? I say they just need to get everything back in check now and get after it. Well, now you've let the Heat get some momentum rolling. You better watch out. Heat feeling themselves now. They're going to come out here thinking, oh, we got one on their home floor. Now we're in control. Tyler Hero's coming back soon. We're in control now. The Nuggets aren't in control. We're in control. Now, game three is really important to me. If I'm the Nuggets, this is a must win. Because if you go down 2-1... Going into a game four, you're in trouble. We can't tell where any bias you have is at right now. Look, I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, right, I am rooting for the Nuggets. One, because I don't want an eight seed winning. Because then everybody's going to be like, oh, and then we have to expand it to 17 teams in the playoffs on each side. Even though there's only 15 teams in each conference. (laughs) But, like, yeah, I don't want the A seed winning. Because guess what? That means regular season doesn't mean anything. That means we're going to want to expand the playoffs. Because that means anybody can win. It's stupid. So yeah, I am rooting for the Nuggets. But what was with that performance? It was absolutely pathetic. The Heat were just doing the same defense all fourth quarter. And the Denver Nuggets coach was like, you know what? Let's just run the same play over and over again. Let's see if we can break it. Like, no, you have to change things up. Come on. We've already talked about this. I mean, we've had an issue with the Nuggets coach before. We talked about this during, was it the second round of the postseason that we were talking about this? We talked about it at length at some point. Yeah, second round when they were going up against the Suns, we talked about it. If you look at the team around Jokic, I mean, it was kind of expected that at some point they're going to collapse and have a poor game. It was honestly nice to see that Jokic didn't. He still had a phenomenal game. So it'll be interesting to see when they pick it up and if the coach starts changing some of his choices late in the game like he hasn't been doing lately. We'll see. (laughs) So what's with this nonchalant, don't give a crap attitude here, huh? I mean, I'm not super invested in this championship. It literally is a good team against an eight seed. Yeah, the eight seed has been playing good. But, I mean, they freaking beat the Celtics, which they shouldn't even beat the Celtics. The Celtics suck anyway. Like, that's just messed up. They really shouldn't be in the championship. It doesn't feel like an NBA championship to me. It really doesn't. All right, I guess. But, Nuggets, you got to show up. Like, I mean, it took an amazing performance, an historic shooting performance by the Heat to beat the Nuggets by three that game, right? So it's not like the Heat came out and took this. I mean, they shot amazingly, but to me, it was the Nuggets just failing. I mean, if you watch the fourth quarter, you're just sitting there scratching your head like, what are these fouls that you guys are doing? Are you dumb? Like, what are you doing? Why are you fouling them in that situation? Be smart. Don't give up free free throws for no reason. 
Well, that's why they're called free throws, because they're free. No, but in all seriousness, I mean, you're upset at the Denver Nuggets for not performing as good as they should have and kind of having that nonchalant attitude. I'm not that upset with this just because it did take the Heat such a good shooting performance to win, and they still only won by three. Imagine if the Denver Nuggets just pull their heads a little bit out of their butts for the next game. They're going to dominate them. I mean, probably, but you actually have to do that. I mean, their defense was pathetic. Their fouls were pathetic. The effort was pathetic. The coaching decisions was pathetic. And they still only lost by three. The fan base, I don't know. Seriously, I was watching that game, and the fan base and the rest of the team other than Jokic, it felt like they didn't even know it was a playoff game, let alone an NBA championship game. They just came out here like it was a preseason game. It was sad. I mean, Jokic, too. Jokic came out, and he was like, you know what? If none of you guys are going to try, I'm just going to go out here and get buckets. And I heard somebody was like, well, he had a bad game. He only had four assists. Well, nobody else was doing anything. He's not going to continue to pass them the ball. He had 40 points. What else do you want from him? Yeah, the whole lack of assist thing was definitely just a switch in mindset where he adapted while the team wasn't adapting and doing bad. I mean, simple as that. Jokic could have gone for 100 in this game if he started a little bit earlier. Like, he was just dominating <laughs> I don't know about 100, but I see what you're saying. But I mean, seriously, like, this dude is so good. And, like, when he was just like, you know what? The rest of the team isn't doing it. I'm going to come out here and score. Like, the Heat couldn't do anything to stop him. Dude's basically unstoppable against the Heat. I don't think they have anything that can stop him. And he's just like, all right, I'll do this. I'll do that. I mean, he looks like a stinking point guard out there with some of the things he's doing. I mean, Jokic is amazing. Honestly, my opinion, best player in the league. What you going to say about it? Over Giannis? A healthy Giannis, you're taking I ain't pitch. stuttering. All right, that's a big change in attitude from you. Look, Giannis had some faults in his game. Yeah, he's got the defense, but Jokic? What are you doing to stop that man? What are you doing to stop that man? Seriously. I don't disagree with how good he is. It'll be interesting to see how he plays the rest of this championship and see if he can take home a ring for the Nuggets. Expect a little bit more out of you. <laughs> Hey, I'm chill. I mean, it's the championship, but there's nothing to be heated about right now. I'm just waiting to see what happens. Maybe in the next couple games, if the Nuggets keep floundering, that I'll be a little bit more passionate about it and get behind it like you are. But with one game, I fully expected this to happen, either game two or game three. It was a matter of time before the Nuggets slipped. It's going to happen. That's why they're seven-game series. Yeah, I guess I'm just disappointed that they didn't come out and took the 2-0 lead. Like, You take the 2-0 lead and you pretty much got the series in hand. Now you're kind of in an iffy situation where if the Heat somehow come out and win game three, now you're down 2-1 going into game four at Miami. It's going to be a tough game if that happens. Yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying. And don't get me wrong. I would have loved to see the Nuggets come out, win four games in a row, and just completely dominate them like they dominated the Lakers. But the rational part of me understood that, Hey, these guys are coming off of really, really hot games, destroying teams. They're eventually going to ease off the gas, which, I mean, I fully admit, they should have kept their foot down on the gas, stepped in their throats, and finished them going up 2-0. But it was just a matter of time before they slipped. They're going to have people on their team that aren't all-stars that are going to slip, have bad games, are key role players, going to happen, and it just happened. If I'm the Nuggets, I'm feeling pretty good about that while being pissed off at the same time, being like, Hey, we just let this slip. We should have been up 2-0. Now it's 1-1. I mean, that lit a fire under my butt if I'm the Nuggets, and I'm also going into it knowing, hey, we just played our worst game that we played all postseason, and we only lost by three. Yeah, it was a weird thing to me, though. It was like Jokic felt like he knew the situation. Jokic felt like he knew what was going on, what needed to be done, and the rest of the team wasn't wasn't there. They were just like, eh, whatever. I, I just didn't get it. I mean, if I'm the Nuggets, you kind of have to worry. He's like, can you get that fire back up and going? Like, sometimes momentum is a is a dangerous thing. And if you let momentum go the wrong way, sometimes it's hard to get back. It for sure has to flip this game. I mean, the Nuggets need to come out and destroy in game three, get their confidence back. If they lose this game, then they absolutely did something completely wrong. And they need to readdress that for game four. But other than that, I think they just go back in with the same game plan. I mean, it's the same coach. He's going to have the same game plan. No, 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 no. You got to switch the game plan. That was you. I'm talking the (laughs) players. The players. The players. The players. No, you got to switch the game plan, too. It's called get your butts in gear. None of this nonchalant and whatever. I mean, yeah, the Heat. Don't get me wrong. The Heat played really good defense on him. But you still got to help Jokic out a little bit. Dude has 40 points and nobody else can score. Like, I don't even know. I think the next guy was like 17 or something. Like, come on. Get him some help. You got anything else to say about this? I don't know. I guess not. All right, guys. That's it for today. Remember to like, subscribe, comment down below what you guys think. Until next time, keep it real.